Ah, oh, hello down there. My name is Sandy Mackay, and the person behind the camera is my partner in crime, Alistair Fila. Say hi to the audience, Ali. Hello, this is me. <laughs> yeah, okay, stop showboating. What you're about to see is a brief documentary detailing the millions of hours we, the cast and crew, put in to create a show of the typical high caliber you've come to expect from a Curry High School production. Along the way, you'll see some interviews of your favorite faces, as well as finding out what really goes into the making of a school show. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll start to wonder how long it is until intermission. So sit back and enjoy this tale of tears, tantrums, and top hats. So this is Christmas. For those of you who have accidentally wandered into the whole thinking system of the adult education classes, you are about to watch the Fanfare Please Maestro. <laughs> the school musical for the 2009-2010 session, Ebenezer. Ebenezer tells the story of. Miss Comfort, why did you choose to perform this particular musical, and what are its main strengths? Well, to be very honest, we were originally going to do Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but we couldn't get the performing rights for that, so I spent a long weekend trawling through musicals before we came up with Ebenezer Scrooge. I like the music in it. I like the fact that this year we wanted to put in lots of first years and second years, uh, because they didn't get into last year's show, really. So, it's a good show from that point of view. Do you think you'll be able to top last year's show, Back to the 80s? I think Back to the 80s was a phenomenon of, its, of itself. I think it's a great show, and I think it's a very different show. And I think the only thing I would say is, whatever year it is, each show is going to be different from the one before. Last year's was a brilliant senior show, this year's is great for the juniors, and it's a more, a more evenly spread show. My name is David Attenborough, and you're about to see the sound crew in the wild. Come closer, come closer. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a world exclusive glimpse into what the sound crew do in their spare time in the back of the hall. Come. We can't film the moment playing Frogger because this is our like at home job. Seeing as this is your first year in charge of the sound desk, are you enjoying the responsibility? Hmm. Am I enjoying the responsibility? Yeah, I suppose I am really. There's quite a large crew. Everybody's um, doing their piece for uh, the music and I'm just adding my expertise in. I've got the fifth years helping. Uh, good team and uh, I'm enjoying it so far. Are there any costumes that are a real nightmare to make? Yeah, I think the hardest one this year was your own. Ha 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 ha. No, we've we've uh, we've hired quite a few this year. We were late getting started, so it's not been too difficult. So you may be wondering what crotchety old geezer they have dug out of the school attic to play Scrooge. Well, let me introduce you to ah. Uh... <laughs> 
Because um, it's got all my best friends, uh, we've all got a party together and it's that big a chorus, we all just get on really well, so it's a really good show to send us off with. Mr Wilson, what are the main complexities of the stage design this year? Well the stage design in itself isn't that terribly complex this year, it's quite simple. However, the actual movement and the changing of the sets is quite difficult. Very short time scale and very little room to move in. So there you have it. You've just witnessed the making of the most awesome musical in the history of the universe. So just sit back, relax, avoid the temptation to start kicking the seat in front of you, and all that's left for me to say is, pass the popcorn, guys. <sighs> um, Sandy, we yeah. actually have the mo um the actual show to perform. You know? What are you talking about? <laughs> right. Um. Oh God. Uh, um. Um. Right. Uh. Yes. In the immortal words of Bruce Springsteen, baby, we were born to run. Beautiful. 